So today, the goal is to get the tailgate done. Um, this tailgate was pretty bad, and I've been putting it off, but today is the day to put it off no more. Uh, this top part, for anyone who has a Toyota, they get seam sealed up under here. But they're notorious for breaking kind of along here. So when I got this, you can see where they had a strap of metal that they had welded up here and then down here. So they had a full length piece of metal. The problem is, I'll show you on the side that I have not done yet, and this is the better of the two sides. This has all been busted out. And literally, this vice grip's the only thing keeping this corner together. And what I did on the other side, I ended up cutting all this out and putting in a new piece of metal. So I'll show you the side that I've done. This is all new metal. And I've welded in here, just tack welded for now. And I'm gonna have to come back and do some serious grinding and sanding. This piece of metal is all new. Um, is, is a, along with this one here that goes up. So, that was one problem that I've been working on. The other one is, I had rust holes here. You can see I've got the patch cut and pre-fitted. And then here's the side that I've welded in. I have yet to grind it and then sand it down. But So I got the patch in this one. I'm going to put a patch in this side. Then on this side here, I ran into a bit of rust. So I'm going to end up cutting this bottom piece of metal out, welding a new one in here. Um, I haven't taken the time to film any of the actual process but I'll show you the end result and then there's a patch over here I had a hole right here so I cut this one out got that welded in so basically what I'm getting ready to do coming up I'm gonna have six days off and my goal is to spend that six days doing nothing but sanding and bondo and get this thing ready to paint. But I'm only allowing myself six days to do all the sanding and Bondo, all the prep, and then spray it in primer and paint. So that's kind of going to be my six day challenge. And at the end of the six days, ready or not, that's all it's going to get. But I'm trying to have prior to that six days, stuff like this done so that I don't have to, because I'll spend all day today just on the, on the tailgate and then all these patches. Okay. The only other area of rust on this truck that is uh, left, and this is quite common, on this side, the passenger side, and I've already got this cut out, but the top layer was completely rusted. There's the pieces of it. Then I have down in here, some that rusted through. Yeah, right here. So I'm gonna end up cutting this out as well and weld a new piece in here. And then I'm hoping to save this little area. And then I don't know if I can show you, right there is a rust hole. So I'm gonna to have to weld a piece in here. The other side, the driver's side is okay, it's good. So once I get the tailgate done, which hopefully it'll be today, I will get these pieces welded in. So I'm gonna tack weld my last piece here on the tailgate. Um, what I'm trying to do is, with the welder I have, it only has kind of preset voltage. It has a, a B, C, and D. When I put it on A, I'm not really getting that much uh, weld penetration. So I'm trying to do on B as much as possible, just so I know it's welded on there really good. Sometimes it's if it hits a little thin spot, it'll burn a hole. So I've been jumping back in voltage um, 
just doing the best I can. So basically I'm just gonna tack this in, keep tacking it. It's on the corner, so I'm really not getting much warpage. But here we go, let's get it tacked. That's a bit hot. That's more like it. piece tacked in and then I just kind of go back and forth between it and I'll put tacks in between and then uh, after I do that one more time I'll just run straight beads and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this patch I'm gonna do the one underneath that I'd showed you earlier and uh, when I get the tailgate back on then I'll kind of do an update so I got all the rough welding done and uh, grinding and since I can't get inside and I know there's rust in there I cleaned it out the best I could but I'm gonna pour some of this core seal in there and uh, kind of try to spread it around as much as I can I'm hoping it doesn't just come up it just comes out Do it this way. of a rail in there that I'm going to try to get this on. So we'll let that sit and that's it for now. So uh, this is it for today. We're not even planning on doing this project. Um, not a bad day overall. I've been kind of not looking forward to this day. So, just to recap, had to make this whole section in here, and I've just rough, roughed everything. I got a lot more work, but this was all loose and falling apart. So, made this patch today. Just for now, put in some tack welds. There's gonna be seam sealer that goes over all this. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to weld it more or just leave it kind of how it is. And I had to build all this corner in here. And then of course I did a section back in here that I had to do. 
and uh, I've got to work on just bending this so that it lines up with the body lines. Same on this side, so they're about the same. Got this patch in, got the one on the side in, and I got this one over here. So all the metal work is done on the Toyota. And then uh, I'm probably gonna use some, they make like a uh, panel adhesive, and I might use that up in here to glue this panel on and then seam seal it on top. And that'll be the Toyota tailgate. And I put that, like I showed on the video, that Cora seal. Not sure it's gonna do any good, I just don't know what else to do. The proper way to do this would have been to drill out all the tack welds, but that's not gonna happen on this. This is just uh, a work truck. So that's gonna conclude this video. Tomorrow I'll work on the patch uh, in the front window. And then it's, it's on, it's the six day challenge. And I'll post a video all throughout that six day challenge and see where we end up when, when it's time to paint.